Hi, welcome to the Industry Training Series. I'm Anna Donahue, a junior media arts production student at Emerson College. In this episode, I'll provide a general overview of the role of a production designer. I'll also cover the relationships between the production designer, director, director of photography, and producers. Let's get started! Production designers are the people that oversee the aesthetic vision of a film. They're the head of the art department, so they communicate with the set decorator, prop master, hair and makeup, wardrobe, special effects, and anyone else you could imagine that's in the art department. Since the aesthetic of a film is so important, the production designer will work closely with the director to make sure a cohesive vision can be made that agrees with the director's plan for the film. Communication is key, like any role in a film set. The production designer needs to know what is being seen on camera and how to make sure the aesthetic choices are best for what the director has in mind. Now let's talk about pre-production. Once hired onto a shoot, it's a good idea for the production designer to sit down with the producers and director to decide upon a look for the film. I usually put together a lookbook with inspiration stills and other media I think might be useful. This will also be the time for the production designer to do any necessary research on behalf of the film's aesthetic. It's important to keep in mind realistic environments, time periods, and possible geographic locations when determining the look of a film. I also put together a list of props or set pieces that are explicitly stated in the script. From there, I can begin a more in-depth process of designing the shoot. If you're in charge of hiring your team, this is also when that will take place. As mentioned before, the production designer oversees the entire art department, so it's important that they are people you feel comfortable collaborating and communicating with. Pre-production will also be the time to discuss budget items for the film. Production design can be expensive, so it's important to determine how much money you will have to bring the film to life. The production designer's role will be slightly different depending on the location of the shoot. If the shoot is to take place in a studio, you'll need to work with the studio team to create a set plot that works within the confines of the studio space. This needs to happen well beforehand so that the lighting designer for the shoot can design a lighting plot that works with the set pieces. If a shoot is to take place on location, the production designer should have a hand in choosing the location alongside the producers, director, and director of photography. A location can make or break the aesthetic plan for a film, so it's extremely important that the production designer has a say. For my work on an in-studio shoot, I created a detailed set plot that gave the lighting designer as much information about the set as possible with approximate measurements. Depending on the on-location shooting space, the production designer has to make many choices. After developing an agreed-upon look with the director, they must determine what the space offers and what may need to be brought in from off-site locations. There's also a chance when you're location scouting that you'll learn you need to build something for the set. In this case, your art team will need to coordinate and work on not only curating all the pieces for the set, but also building new ones. This is most common in a studio setting or in the case of visual effects. For one of my shoots, I didn't have to build anything, but I did have to design fake college org posters for a set to make it look like a college radio station. This took up most of my pre-production time because our location choices were bare, but the directors preferred a maximalist, fun, academic look. The rest of your time in pre-production will require you to gather everything necessary for the day of shooting from the art department. This means meeting with your hair, makeup, and wardrobe people to communicate you and the director's vision for the film, as well as making sure those people are on track to get the actors ready on shoot day. Sending prop lists to your prop master and inspiration stills to your set decorator will also provide a smoother transition into production. Hopefully when production rolls around, you've completed all your hardest work. This is the stage where you primarily oversee the other people in the art department to carry out the director's vision. This includes everyone, from the art PAs that may be painting, the set, to the hair and makeup artists. The production designer is also held on set all day in case changes need to be made to the original set decoration or wardrobe choices. If the director or director of photography wants something in the set decoration to change, they'll call in the production designer to see that it gets done properly. Traditionally, the production designer's job is completed when principal photography wraps. Today, their role may spread into post-production because of the adoption of CGI and other post-effects that contribute to the look and feel of the film. In this case, the production designer will continue on a project well into the post-production phase to oversee this aspect of the film. As I hope you've learned, the role of the production designer is very important and requires a lot of hard work. It's all about collaboration and sharing the love for film with others. Production design can make or break a film's environment, so it's important to be meticulous and thoughtful in your work. 
Of course, the best way to learn is by doing, so get out there and let your creative juices flow.